Hi everybody, Sandy here from Scrapbooks Blessings Club and I am excited because we are doing a surprise mini video hop and this hop came about because we were contacted by Louisa from Ellie Paper Studios and she wanted to partner up with us on a new project that she was doing and we were so excited. Now she has created a mini album. Not only that, she's created the file to tell you how to do a mini album. And it's almost, I call it an ebook because there is almost 50, there's 49 pages in this file and it's step-by-step -step instructions. She gives you measurements, she gives you layouts, she gives you embellishment ideas, plus you have all the pictures and it's a do-it-yourself mini album a lot of fun to do. She's going to sell it in her Etsy shop and I'll have the link below in the description so you can hop over to her Etsy shop. There's other things that she sells there. And I think she said she was going to retail it for $9.95. So um, I hope I got that number right. <laughs> so the best part is if you hop along with us like our normal hops, um, somebody's going to win the ebook. So you're going to get the same thing that the design team members got so that you can create your own mini album. Now what's so exciting about this is this is just not your ho-hum mini album, throw a couple ribbons together, let's go. This, this sucker, this is the Mac Daddy of mini albums. I don't even know if I call it a mini album, I just say a scrapbooking album. Um, so this is something that you're definitely not going to do in one night. <laughs> It took uh, a couple nights to do this, and I think this project would be really good if you had a um, like a scrapbooking crop weekend, where you had you could have your phone with your file right next to you and your papers, and you're ready to go. This is my mini album that I created using the ebook that Louisa made. That she created <laughs> and it was a lot of fun to do so first off when you look at your ebook you're going to see how to make the outside cover and it's quite thick and you use the chipboard to make the cover and she has all the measurements already made for you so I knew exactly how many pieces of paper I needed how I needed to tape them together how I needed to cut them down how I needed to score them so first off, I'll put on both sides. As you can see, this is covered all the way around. So, and it is a hard, there's some weight to it because it is chipboard. So when I open it up, pop it up, there is the flap and we have the inside. I'll turn it so you can kind of see here. So this is the inside, this is the first pocket. And she shows you for um, this part here, how to score, what measurements you need. This one here is a pocket. I said inside pocket. This is the inside page of the album. And this here is a pocket so I can put pictures, little journaling cards inside. Then on this side here, I did it a little bit different, but the concepts is kind of oops, the same. I did, a, it's almost like a gatefold card, but I made this so I can put some wallets. So I can put one, two wallets in something like a little journaling here, and then these open up here that I can journal or add more pictures to. And then right here are tags. And she shows you how you can go ahead and you hear this so that you can get tags that will go in and out. Now going to the next page. Okay, on this page she shares how to make this little moving mechanism here to put this down. This is almost like a joy fold card. So if you're our card maker, there's a lot of measurements and a lot of familiarity with uh, card making. So for this one here, this can swing out of the way or you can just go ahead and pull that. This flaps open here. So plenty of room for more pictures, some journaling there. And then on the other side, 
we have another flap that opens up and then here's another pocket and we can add some photo matting, photo journaling cards, um, whatever you want depending on the theme of your album. The next page series is this one here. And for this one, these move, so they're interactive. So if you wanted to move them out of your way, you can do that. And these flip open. And then this flips back around, same for this other side. And then on this side here, uh, she shows you the measurements for the belly band. So I can fit a 5x7 to go in here. And then in here is just like another pocket another pocket that I can put journaling cards or more pictures in. Flip to the next page. This is my favorite. <laughs> I absolutely love this page. This one here has the little um, mechanism that turns and then these flip open again. So kind of like the same concept, but this turns, this one flips down. Now this one I did different because I wanted this paper. So I have to fix up here and put a journaling card or something up here, a tag or something to kind of hide that or more flowers to hide that little, that's the only place that went a little walk wonky. But this was a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that I cut down because I wanted the flower. And I did a whole panel that lifts up so I can get a lot of pictures on the inside there. So what's nice is that um, the measurements are here on how to do it, but if you want to tweak it or change it up a little bit to make it yours, by all means, you can do that. No problem. Okay. Folding of this. This is a great one, too. She shows you how. I didn't realize how easy it was to do this. <laughs> when I look at waterfall cards or anything like this, it always seems like it's a little harder, but it's not. And it was a lot of fun to do. So when you open this up here, I can get a ton of pictures in there. Very cool. Absolutely love it. Now I didn't do any, um, right so far, any punches or anything on these because I don't know if I want to take a white gel pen and journal. So see, that's where it's a little bit different. She shows you how she does the embellishments too. And you can see in the book, the ebook, the file, the PDF file, how she did punches and embellishments and buttons and tags and ribbons. Um, so if you want a total start to finish, I don't want to think, I just want to copy everything. There you go. Done. For me, I wasn't quite sure I wanted to, what, how I want to do my journaling stuff when I actually put my pictures in. So I didn't do quite everything that was in the file. Now this side is three um, pockets. One, two, and three. And I can go ahead and do journaling tags. Um, you can put anything paper related in here any little drawings that the kids make, anything like that. Okay, now this one here is a little fun. I have some birthday, oops, some birthday pictures. So on this side here, she shows you how to make this little like mini album inside. So I can put one, two, three, four pictures, and then each of these have pockets so I can add more pictures inside each of the pockets. On this side, it's like a little accordion flap here, so it opens up. So I have one, two flaps, and then if I come over this way, here's two here. So four different flaps for this card, for this page. And then last but not least, this is at the end. Oops. There you go, is this little flap element here. And this is the back of the book. And this one, I have to say, is another one of my favorites. Now, these are cut down that I could put wallets in. But check this out. If I just pop it up, I can put wallet in and do journaling or put two wallets in plus a wallet on top here. So I can get three 
cards so I can get 18 different wallets in just with this page and then these just tuck right inside the little paper strips that I punched out to hold them in place and so this is the back cover of or the back panel of your album okay now last but not least oh, it's really cool check this out there are pockets Look at this. There are pockets inside each of the panels. Check it out. Here, let me pull it out. So there are pockets each side that you can go ahead and add more pictures in or whatever I want, want to add. And then they slide right in. Love it. Okay, this one I forgot to close. <laughs> I got to put another little magnet right here. I'll do that later. Let me pull out another one so you can see. Here, I'll pull out my favorite. This is my favorite. I keep going back to these. I absolutely love these. And when I pull this out, see? And then I can put it right in. This tutorial, like I said, is designed to walk you step by step through your creation. It's a nine and a half by eleven and a quarter by two and three quarters album created by Ellie Paper Studio. Um, along the way, you will find in this whole file, you will find pictures and diagrams um, to help you. Not only we had the written, but you also have pictures and examples. Um, this is a $9.95 value that we're going to be giving away. And it, we're going to do it, run it just like we do our normal hop, monthly hop. Um, you're going to stop by each design team member's YouTube channel, watch their hop. Now, it's not the whole design team. It's just the ones that wanted to do this. Watch their hop video. The list is below. Subscribe and leave a comment. When you've finished all the YouTube channels, you'll head to scrapwithblessingsclub.com. Leave a comment there. That's going to be your last stop for a chance to win the prize, the grand prize, which is the ebook. And our hop is going to be open from Saturday, March 4th to Friday, March 10th, so you have plenty of time to watch and comment. So up next is Miranda. So that is it for me. Until next time, bye-bye.